internets. I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game. And today on the channel we are continuing our look at Ticket to Ride. Today we'll be starting our series on Ticket to Ride UK. Oh wait, no, not UK. We already covered that. No, Pennsylvania. So today's video is the how to play Ticket to Ride Pennsylvania. So let's take a look at the table and learn how to play the game. So welcome back to the table. This time we are showing you how to play uh, the Ticket to Ride Pennsylvania map. So first step is to get out the board and make sure you've got the Pennsylvania side which says Pennsylvania across it. Uh, next step you'll need to have either a copy of Ticket to Ride or Ticket to Ride Europe to hand. You'll need to get uh, the trains for each player out of there as well as the score marker and you'll be using all 45 trains unlike the UK which only used 35 and you'll also have your score markers so we'll have blue and red as is traditional um, and as well as that you'll also need the train cards out of that set so once players have their trains and the victory point tracker is put on the board ready to track you'll then deal out the card shuffle and deal out the train cards so as with normal ticket to ride each player will be dealt four train cards and then you will set out the market of available cards which is five Once you've done your train cards, you then want to do your destination routes. So these are your tickets and these will come from the Ticket to Ride UK box and we'll have the Pennsylvania written on the back. So you can tell that that's a Pennsylvania ticket and these work exactly the same as they do in all the other versions. So you just shuffle these up and then deal four to each player at which point they have to pick at least one to keep the rest then go near the board ready to draw during the game any tickets that people don't want to keep go to the bottom of the deck okay so before we get on to the main difference of pennsylvania which is the stocks um, i just want to mention that as with uk and europe there are ferry routes in this, um, identified in the same way as for those games, so please look into those if you want more detail. Um, and they work in exactly the same way, requiring locomotives to build. Also, when you have the double routes, um, the same player can't build on both of those routes, and if you have three or fewer players, only one player gets to build on them. Okay, so let us talk about the shares. So the shares will come in this box and we'll all have this greyish background stating Pennsylvania on it. The shares come in various different types for the different companies and on the shares you'll see the share number. So we, here we have 1 of 15 and 2 of 15 etc going down. So the rarity of the shares um, does vary. Um, so with this first one, Pennsylvania Railway Road, there are 15 and the person who has the most at the end of the game will get an additional 30 points, second 21 points, third 14 points and so on. And you'll want to make sure these are within easy reach of the players throughout the game. And you can see, we'll look at another example, Baltimore only has 10 shares and then gives less points for having the more of them and that will be the case going through all of them so we'll just get these set out around the board okay so the way you will get those shares is several of the routes have on them I'll have to try and bring the map closer for this 
So several of the routes have on them symbols corresponding to the various shares. Not all the routes do, but when they do have this symbol, when you build that route, you'll pick one of those shares to put face down in front of you, and you'll take the top one off the pile. So unlike with Ticket to Ride Europe, there is a Globetrotter reward at the end scoring, and that gets awarded to whoever has completed the most tickets, and that will be an extra 15 points. So everything else, the way you take your turn, the way the game ends, etc., is exactly the same as the other Ticket to Ride games. Um, so I'm not going to go into any more detail on it here. Um, hopefully you've already at least watched the UK um, map and I go into more detail there. If not, there's always my Ticket to Ride Europe run through. So the final thing and potentially most important thing for me to mention, because this is of course to can play that game, is that there are two player rules for this. So there is a two player variant. Um, the way this works is that you have a third dummy player and whenever you buy a whenever you claim a route that would give you a share and you claim a share you also have to select a stock share so um, from those available for the route it can be the same one that you selected that you give to that dummy player so say I built this route from Harrisburg to Reading, I would get a Reading Lines share. So I would take Reading Lines share face down in front of me, and face down in front of dummy player would also go a Reading Lines share, because that's the only option for that route. So that's the only change for the actual playing of the game. The next change comes with the end scoring. So where you score based on majority of shares, the dummy player's shares will count for determining majority, although they will not get points. But they might have the first, so you would only get the second most points. However, before you do this, you will shuffle together all of the dummy player's shares and then count out half of those. So you will only be using half of the shares the dummy players received and you will not know which half. Okay, so that is how to play Pennsylvania specifically. If you're still not clear on the overall game rules, then please check out my Ticket to Ride Europe or Ticket to Ride UK videos. Thanks for watching to so Play That Game. If you have liked this video, then please do check out the rest of the videos in this series. There's links to all of them in the description. And of course, if you're specifically interested in Pennsylvania, there is still my playthrough and also finally my review. So please do check those out. And of course, if you've enjoyed this, please check out the rest of the videos on the channel. And of course, share the, bit, the channel with your friends and family. I really would like to get more people watching these videos and enjoying them. And as always, bye for now.